How we met, how we met. Where did you even meet? Yeah, we met at a hospital. Like you are this kind of guy that you know, you you always love to speak English. I was just be, I was just. I wasn't really trying to impress you. I'm not the normal kind of guy that likes fair girls and all that. You were not even you my were type. Oh. Me at time. Did did I look at you? I didn't even notice that there was a female around. I was. Mm. I think the only girl I saw was the one that was sick. Huh. But then, um, besides the after that. Called you on the phone, yeah? Yes. I think I was about to travel when I called you. Yeah. Told you that I was I traveling. Me. I love you. I don't know why. Can you marry me? I was like, who is this? Woman, that was, not how, that, was not, that was not how it happened. I think I, I just, I can remember that I called you and I was like, okay, let's forget every other relationship that might be between our yeah, people. So and I'm Okay, yeah. So if it's going to work, like, let's just. Let's just yeah. know if it's going to work out. Yeah, let's work it out. And then what did you even say at that time? Like, Give me time. I need some space. And then your phone and was off. You. And then your phone was off for three days. Yeah, because I don't like you at that time. Okay, I think I called your phone for like three, four days. Yeah, three, four days. And then one day you called me. I was, yeah. I was in Lagos and you called me and... And I didn't pick the call, and that was when you started ranting that okay, you've been calling me, and I didn't pick the call. It was just one single missed call. Yes, I remember the call. I wanted to tell. What did I want to tell you? Then, then after you that, I just want to talk to you. Mm. What What happened after? Okay, that was when I came back, and we met a couple of times. Yes. Then I came to your house, and then your mom called me in. Yes. Mm. Hi, that was mis- <laughs> that, that was that was that was something else. Why did she take me? She was like, you can't just keep coming to this house. Hey, and nobody the other. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just go, keep coming to this house and nobody knows that you're here. If you're really serious about this girl, you should send your parents this, that, this, that, and all that. And I was like, I bet. Then it was a very big move that I had to make. Like, it was, it was. The most scarier part was actually talking to my parents about it because I'm this kind of person that don't like talking about females mm. in my house. Like, I can't just go and meet someone in my house and be like, okay, I saw this girl and I like her. But then it was because of Do the uncle. No, the uncle. He was able to do a lot of the talking for me to my mom. Like, okay, this guy oh. he loves this girl and all that. Alhamdulillah, we're finally together. And if I hear you say that you didn't love me at first, I won't push the hell out of you. First, let me say to you, I cannot wait to see you. You are the treasure I've been waiting for. Do you know, do you know? Wedding preparations. Um, we had a lot of time to do a lot of things, and uh, we had a lot of personal relationships with a lot of vendors, so we were able to get a lot of things in time. And did you even do anything? Yes. What did you do? My clothes, your, yours, and mine. You were only there to keep records. It was not like you were there to actually go and get the clothes or actually design the clothes i think i was even the one mine. come on get I out of here i was the one that designed your camo clothes what about yours i designed mine basically or the tailor did that oh really what did you do i'm the one who chose the color no you didn't choose any color for me oh i chose my colors i told you i always wanted anything white or anything black but then we resulted to wearing Actually. silver because you were going to wear black it's so because i'm the one who chose the color for you or because of nyang 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 just to your own answers. You've just been crazy. But I'm just being messed up, but, but in reality, I think uh, I think everybody contributed and we did what was needed to be done and mm-hmm. everybody played their own part. I think, I, I think that was it. How much I really need you I they pray for the day when I can finally kiss you I sing for you. 
what time what time did you get to that something was going to go wrong? So how close to the wedding was that? I mean how close to the wedding did they start telling me all those kind of things? So you started getting you started panicking three weeks to the wedding. Okay, then. Oh, we talk about it. Uh, you told me, but then that still doesn't mean that still doesn't mean you should be scared and all that. But okay, now during the preparations, what was the scary part for you? The scary part is like right before the wedding. Or what? Before the wedding, I can't remember. Well, the part that actually got me scared was the fact that okay, I am married. Like a homie. Okay, I'm going to be married. There's going to be a whole other person. I'm going to be responsible for a whole other human being mm. at a point in life. That's 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 very scary. So I think I didn't get scared during any wedding until about maybe a day or two. I think a day. It was after the events have already started. I think after the bridal shower, yeah? Yes. Most mm. probably. After the bridal shower, I was panicking so much that we couldn't even talk much on phone. Mm. Do we even talk that night? No, we didn't. But we talk. I think. I think maybe it was. I think it was the Kamu day. The Kamu day. Yeah. I think that was it, and we didn't even talk until at about five o'clock or so, right when I was about to come to the Kamu place. Okay, there was one scary thing that actually happened. Mm -hmm. hmm, I shouldn't say this, but then when we heard that there was an electrical problem at the Kamu venue. Yes. I didn't think, did you really hear about that before you went there? No, I didn't. Okay. But the problem was solved right right before right before you got there. But then they called me and told me that but okay. Tell me later. I didn't tell why would I tell you? It's not something a female can handle. You even tried as a female to not have panic attacks and all that. During the wedding. Females are normally are normally scared when it comes to dark clothes and all that. You know. They have this uh, paranoia, should I say paranoia of events and all that, events going the way they are supposed to go. That we Which dance? The one that we dance. Okay. Not the one that we dance. Okay. The one that we danced together, not the first dance. Okay. The one that the one that had a lot of uh, the one that, that had a lot of going down low, like yes. you know, about people. The fact that you do that. What did I even do? Did I? You look like. Did I? <laughs> did, I did I do anything stupid? Yes. What did I do? You're dancing like a Yoruba woman. No, do I, I'm not. I didn't dance like a woman. <laughs> Actually, I danced like a man. Oh, but I love that part. Man, that was that was something else. Yeah, I wish we could have it back. I wish we could have it back. Um, for me, for me, for me, it was the entrance. It was the entrance. I loved the entrance. Oh, I, like the entrance. I loved the entrance because there was a whole lot of guys sitting, like standing down yeah. there. You understand? Yeah, all of them wearing black and all that. So black being my favorite color, I was like, okay, man, you know, all of them legs are here yeah. for me. You know, you know, you know how it is exactly, and and it was all healing and stuff. They were yeah. shouting, yeah, yeah, shouting my name and Thank all that. You, you know, that was the time that they raised me up. Yes, and I love that part also. Well, I didn't like that. But I love the entrance. I love the entrance, and and you know when you design your stuff yourself, man. Yeah, I'm the one who designed the decor. No, you designed the blah blah blah. <laughs> you didn't design shit. I designed it. And, okay, you had a lot to do with the with the walkway. So yeah, yeah, the, you did something mm -hmm. designing the walkway. And, and I wish we have uh, a good event planner that will take care of all the. Dad. I wish I had another me outside there to yeah. overlook yeah, the event. Like you. Yeah, I wish I had another me to overlook the event in general because I don't know certain things. I'm a perfectionist, so mm. I think. There's a lot. There's a lot that would have gone yeah. way better if we if the yeah we would have loved it more.
after the wedding. After the wedding, the wedding was fun, but then it became more fun after the wedding because I was able to take how many days did we take off? I think eight. Yeah, probably like like eight days, and and we and we had mad fun. Yes. Lagos was the shit. Like it was the ball, man. And um, can you I remember? Can, could you remember us on the street? Trying to eat yam yes. oh, okay. and akara, and then uh, we was in the middle of the street eating uh, these beans. What do you call it? This Lagosian's beans. What's the name? What's the name? And you surprised me with new fun. And uh, yeah, I think I did. Uh, yes. That was that was an That's awesome part. I think I have that on video. I, I think I have that on my phone because I was recording you when you was looking at the I phone. Can remember. But then Lagos, Lagos, Lagos was Lagos was the main thing. It was, it was fun, the beach, the horse, the horse riding, and then what? And the karaoke. Yeah, okay, the karaoke, yeah, the karaoke was the bomb. The the crazy. Yeah, yeah. That was when it was, it all started coming out. Like we was being free with each other and all that. And then after that, man, Barracuda, the beach. Oh, yeah. That was just something else. That was when that was when we spent like hours in the pool and. We spent like a day. In a pool. Yes. Man, and then the beach side, and we was picking all those. Do you remember oh, the time when you shouting my name, baby? baby about, okay, I was about, <laughs> I was about to drown in the pool, man. I don't know how to. That's <laughs> that time. You're shouting my name. <laughs> Okay, like, uh, what do you want me to do? What? What? What was? What, why, why do you? I, I didn't. I didn't know how to swim, and I thought I just tried the deeper part of the, the deeper part of the the pool. But it was an experience, though. It was an experience that, that I actually loved it. And I hate you for not forgetting that part. <laughs> on a serious <laughs> note, this is not something that we're supposed to discuss like this. On a serious no, note, I, I love it, but I love it. Well, yeah, you would love that part because because of the kind of person you are. That's the kind of person <laughs> you are, but it's not a nice thing, seriously. You're supposed to forget this kind of person. <laughs> And then I started shouting. I think I think the name I think the name came out of the water. Like you know all that one that when you're drowning in water and it keeps bloop. <laughs> I think that was how the name came out. And she didn't know how to swim too, so there was no way she would have saved. Do I look like I'm joking? <laughs> you don't know how to do shit. You don't know how to do nothing but that. Eventually, I saved myself. No, but it was, it, it was it was fun. Wrong, it was fun. Like, um, it is something that we normally dream of going back. And the fact that we still lived on. Yeah, we stole a lot of things from the from, from, other, from the hotel rooms because <laughs> 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 we actually stole things because that was very bad of us. <laughs> Seriously, we, in, we enjoyed stealing things and. Shower it was cups, exactly right. shower. I think she still have like how many of the shower cups do you have now? I have like three. And she still have like three of the shower cups. And There's, there's, okay, since we're already married now, there's something I've, I've always wanted. I've always wanted my first, uh, my first child to be a girl. A girl? Yeah. A boy? I would have, I would have named, I would have named the child after you, but man. My name, but Your original name is not sweet, because I, I, I wouldn't do you that. Have no, idea I, no, I don't like your name. And I'm sure you. You yourself don't you. like your name. Who tells you that? You yourself don't like your name, so I think. Um, yeah, career-wise, I don't know if there's a specific thing that I want. And I would want my daughter want. to look like me, act like me, quiet, simple. What mm -hmm. are you trying to say? Am I that ugly? I don't want her to have this, your nose, big head. Okay. <laughs> well, like 
I wouldn't mind number of children so far as they will look like you. I wouldn't mind the gender so far as they would look like you. And then, like this is, this is, this is deep from my heart. All I want is you guys to just be happy. Like, let me be, let me be the figure which both you and what we have as kids will look at and be proud of. Like, that's my main thing, you understand? I don't want the, I don't want the traditional, the traditional northern mm -hmm. marriage. I don't want that. I don't want none of that. And I believe at a point, every other, every other woman should be doing things because she wants mm -hmm. to or she loves to, not because she's being forced to or not because of societal expectations. But, but woman needs to be in control. You need to control a woman. It's not about being in control. It's more about compatibility with me. That's one thing I believe. How long or how strong your marriage is depends on how compatible you are with the, with the other person. See, at a point, they all say, they all say that uh, I think love fades away and all that. Once you're compatible with someone, there's no way the love will fade away. Let me give you an instance. There is no way a Toyota car will run with a Benz engine because they are not compatible. Mm -hmm. But then putting the right Honda engine in a Honda car will make you go perfectly. So I think that is what we are basically. No, yeah, I think that's what we are. We are like the, you're like the, you're like that chip that is missing in the whole system. And, oh. and uh, what didn't you like about me? There was nothing I didn't like about you. Okay, there was one thing I didn't like about you at first. What? I don't like the fact that you don't talk much. I'm a talkative. Everybody well, I knows that. It took it took two years. For you to start you? talking to me the way I wanted, yeah? No, I always talk to you. Woman, you're a snitch. You don't talk, <laughs> you don't talk the way you're you supposed to. Life, no, on a serious you. note, you don't talk the way, like, as much as I expect you to. Yeah. Maybe because I'm a talkative or whatnot. But then, this is, this is way too deep for me. I'm getting emotional, small, small. But then, I, 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 I can't really state... The, the number of plans I have for you. I have this amazing thing. I've not looked at a week into my future without you in it on a serious note. Like, every other thing I do has a lot to do with you. Like, how do I put this? Okay, all I'm working towards is towards you being somewhere. You understand? You, you, you becoming a person of your own and... Um, Owning yourself, knowing your value as a woman, not the traditional, uh, the normal traditional house, uh, or should I say northern, northern woman. And yeah, I'll just, I just love you the way you are. Oh. And I'm very serious with that. What? Miss <laughs> I just want you to know that I love you too. You wish it was as much as I love you, or as much as I will love you now or in the future. Or I don't know. I just see a lot of a lot of future for us. Like, I don't know. This is just the beginning, but then there's a lot more where all the love came from. Trust me on that. Why do you love me? That's deep. It's a deep question, but then... I love you because you're you. That's one unique thing about you. No one else can be you. So regardless, no matter what happens, no matter what we have to go through, why wouldn't I love you of all the things that we went through? Exactly, you went through a lot before we got married. And now we are finally happy. It was like it was like the Biafran war that lasted <laughs> three years before we got married, seriously. We've been through a lot. 
بشا الحمد لله بابريا we always pray together so but I just want you to know how much I trust you well I hope I can you have no idea the trust I have for you I hope and pray that I don't do any nonsense to you okay even before I do anything I'm not it's not like I'm planning to do anything but then <laughs> just know that I wouldn't do anything to hurt yes, you That's just it. Okay. Coach. Think I know what is going through your mind. Feel yourself cause I care you know why. See my weakness right there in your smile. Never fail to recall who you are, who you are In your arms, I can make it Since we are young and this song is alright It doesn't matter how hard we fight As long as we remain love, we survive Oh, equal by life. Yeah, you're Jeru. What will I?